Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia and Petey. Petey is here today. I don't think he's gonna say hi though. Um, today is week 50. Listen, scratch that. Let's start over. It's week 26 of our 52 week savings challenge. I was gonna say it was week 52. I don't know why, but we're halfway there. So there's that. So let let it let's jump in. We are um going to finish up our savings for June and we are going to pull our numbers for the 100 envelope challenge for July. Um it's June 30th as I'm filming this and so today is actually payday since the first is on a Saturday. So let's start with um the zero out savings challenge. That is going to be $3.90. And we are going to update that here. So for $6.30, it is $3.90. And that brings our total for the year to $158.48. So we're like right on track to save about $300 for the year for the 52 week each Friday we do zero out savings challenge so for 52 weeks um like really it seems like it balances out to be about a dollar a week but it's better than nothing so that is our zero out savings challenge three dollars and ninety cents this week I do not have any five dollar bills so we will not be doing that um Next up, let's take a look at um, the Budget Mom Circle Savings Challenge. So we um, actually finished that last week um, and saved a total of $145 for the month. So we will not be pulling any additional circles. Um, these were our little circles. Each color represented a dollar amount. So we have finished that savings challenge up and we actually have already hit our goal for the month of saving $750. So um, I'm not looking to save a whole, whole lot this month or this week. Um, so we won't be doing 23 in 2023 nor will we be doing the 100 envelope for June. We will be pulling numbers for July. Um, for our 52-week savings challenge, I am going to save $21. And um, put that here. And I actually have some cash on hand, so I think I can actually stuff that as well. Yes, we can. So we're going to put 20 to $21 in our 52-week savings. So we'll add that on here. And then that should bring us in our envelope to $44. So I've got 21 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we're good on that. That is our 52 week savings challenge. And then um, we will skip Saveopoly for the week. So that is a total of $24.90 for the week. And then um, we have saved $7.94.34. So. Um, with the $24.90 for this week, that brings us to $8.19.24 for the month. Now, when I close out my budget, you will see a different number. It will be slightly more because it will include any loose change um, and savings that was set aside for Christmas and the vacation funds separately. So it's actually going to be a little bit higher, but from these weekly savings challenges here, we saved eight nineteen twenty four for the month of June, so um, exceeded our goal. Not bad at all. 
Um, next up, we are going to do our uh, numbers for the 100 envelope challenge. So, let's pull those out. So I like to try to save somewhere around 400 to 420 because 420 times 12 months gets us to about 5,000, which when you finish the 100 envelope savings challenge, you should be at 5,050. So we are currently, um, in order to pull 100 numbers, you've got to pull two a week. So we have pulled 44 numbers. That seems low. I may not have put down... No, I did. Okay, so... I don't know. I think we're on track. Let's just leave it at that. So we're probably going to pull somewhere between 8 and 10 numbers. It's just iffy based on, you know, if I pull out 99, 98, 97, we're pretty much done. Uh, but we've already pulled like 199 and some of those higher numbers. So let's see what we pull this week. So the first number is 10. And then we have seven. There is, we've already done 99, so this is going to be a 66. Let's take a look at where we're at. So 10, 7, 66, 62, 51, 64, 48, 33. That puts us at 341. So I'm going to pull one more. That's 55. And that puts us at 396. And that is where I'm going to stop. So $396. Um, and these will be our month of July 100 envelope numbers. So this will go to our emergency fund for the month of July. And um, I'm probably... I'm, I haven't decided just yet, but I'm probably going to scale back on savings in July. I've been doing $750 for a while for the month. Um, I think I'm going to scale back to $500, which maybe not. Maybe $600. Um, it'll be somewhere in between $5 and 6 The reason being, I'm, I'm starting to save and set aside additional money for student loans. Um because repayment is coming. Um, I was never going to receive a significant amount of forgiveness should forgiveness had passed. Um, it would have been like a little drop in the bucket for me and it would have been meaningless. So um, not to say I wouldn't have been grateful, but it would have been meaningless. It would have been interest for a few months. So I am in preparation mode for that. And so the less discretionary income that I have, uh, to put towards savings, um, and allocate elsewhere means that I just won't be able to save as much. Um, so I think my savings for July is going to get scaled back quite a bit just because I don't know exactly what that is going to look like just yet. So for now, We've got $396 going to our emergency fund, and then we will see what savings looks like in July as we finish up our July budget and get started with um, 
our weekly savings next week for the first week of July. Um, and we'll decide, we'll have decided by then how much we're going to go for as far as a goal for saving for the month of July. And um, I've already picked out like savings challenges and things. So um, we'll see. We'll just see how it all plays out. But for now, we've got 396 going towards our emergency fund and we are done with our savings challenges for June and we hit our June goal. So I'm excited about that. Let me know if you're saving. Let me know if you're preparing for um, student loans and if you're saving any money to set aside to start um, just, you know, sort of thinking about it and getting in preparation mode. Or let me know if you just feel like, you know, F them loans. I don't care about them loans. Um, cause I feel that way too, but I feel like I'm also very near the finish line. So I'm trying to, uh, not give up when there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so anyways, that is what we have going on over here. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.